Hey, it's me, the Steaming Bean. Here we go, 1967 interior. Ah, so this is the interior of the RV that I vlogged the other day. Uh, so you said, what, what size was the original bed here? Two single beds in here. There was two single beds, so you took that out. And remodeled it into a queen size bed. Okay, so you put a queen size bed. What what about the water? What happened to the so you took just some plumbing, you took out the water tank? The original water tank broke yeah. and I could no longer plastic weld it. Right. So I have a five gallon jug at Canadian tire and I could put three of them in there and suck the water through a belt driven piston pump. The original for 1967 working. So that's three times the water that y you had originally that could uh, go no, through. Fairly close to the original. Oh, okay. Well, I, I love the uh, the lines of this, and I'm six four, and you got about four inches above your head. Yeah, I have inch. Yeah, it because my brother back in Ottawa told me that um, I'd be bending down. Ah, oh, well, he's wrong. That's triple M. And uh, so this is 1967. This is cool. Wow. So your shop is. Uh, it's Rick's Mobile RV Repair. Rick's Mobile RV Repair. And where is that? Here in Saskatoon. Here in Saskatoon, I travel the entire province of Saskatchewan. You go. Th oh, you throughout the whole province. Yes. I removed cabinetry. I got to keep removing all the cabinetry yeah. to get to the back wall. My pocket door is stuck in the wall right broke, so I have to remove all the cabinetry to get at it to fix it all right so that's hence why I have all this missing yeah. parts and pieces here here's the original sink you can turn on the lights here right? yeah okay yeah Where, where's in the lights the bathroom there? okay just above your head all right ah cool it's got uh, four light bulbs in it four light bulbs so this is all original. Yes. 100% original in there. Oh, the um, it's quite generous size with the uh, shower. I have a 1994 RV, and and the shower is quite tight, and I never use it because I'm a I'm I'm pretty big, so. But that's that's a pretty. And I can say I have a pretty good shower in there. I, I yeah. Shower hook. There's a hook in the ceiling. Right. I remounted one up in There's the hook, so yeah. that it actually sprays towards the shower when you turn it on and you can crawl right in there and Yeah, and it has yeah, you can actually walk around in the shower. And the stove is original. Yeah, well typically yeah, in RVs no one usually not many people you said your old, your sister uses a stove. Yeah. And that's the first time I know of anyone owning an RV. That uses a stove, but this is cool. A 50-year-old stove never been used. My 50th birthday, my sister made me a birthday cake in the RV oven. She made what kind of cake was it? Just a, a chocolate cake. Oh, cool! I bought this actually on my 50th birthday. Oh yeah. Two years ago. Well, my 50th is uh, this year. Oh yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. And uh, this is the uh, flat screen. I don't think is from 67 though. <laughs> no, no, that's just a little toy I've been carrying around. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. Thank you very much for the uh, allowing me to come in and check out your uh, retro... Uh, um, Work in progress. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, this is cool. Um, RV fix it as license plate. And uh, <laughs> so you bring it out of the park and, yes. and then business comes your way. People yeah, flog you down. People will flag me down. All right, so Rick's Mobile RV Repair, Saskatoon 306-371-5925. So this is cool. The curvature of the uh, the door, and, and e even the uh, <laughs> that screen door is the screen door is curved. This is true airplane technology. You know, it reminds me of those old. Uh, uh, World War II bombers. This is cool. The hubcaps are all original. On the here. hubcaps are original? Yeah. Oh, I wish I had it during. Oh, but the the daytime. I, I, the rings I found, uh, my brother had found. Okay. But they fit in there, and I can't find rims like this. This is a six bolt, 15 yeah. inch rim. You can't find steel ones like that anymore. No way. Eh? You have to hunt hard on. Uh, 
internet. Yeah. And I just got it priced out. It's going to cost me $5,000 to polish just because the clear coat on there is so uh, bad on yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. I have to strip the whole camper. Huh? Wet sand the whole camper. You can wet sand it. So you're not gonna do the five thousand dollar job, are you? I'm gonna try to do my pain labor. And yeah. It and see if I can wet sand the whole thing. And Research it well. Polish it up. Right. Well, this is pretty cool, and and it's uh, at first I thought I was gonna have trouble, you know, vlogging this at nighttime, but actually with the evening sky, it's. Uh, that at, turns good. Yeah. Vlog at Fini.